Yeah, and so Jonathan, it does, to Stephanie's point, bring back the question of the relationship because, um, you know, by all reports, uh, Jared Kushner was a friend, a personal friend, perhaps even a WhatsApp buddy with the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. Uh, there was reports that he certainly was uh, consulting or perhaps even advocating for him within the administration, certainly after the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. What do you make of this uh, payout from the Saudis, uh, the Saudi wealth fund that is directly managed or at least overseen or chaired by the crown prince to Jared Kushner? Well, first of all, I can tell you something tonight that has not been reported before that comes from sources inside the private equity industry, and that is that the original number was $10 billion, and it was reduced considerably wow. from that. $10 billion was the original number that MBS and Jared Kushner were talking about. Now, to put this in a little bit of context, um, Jared Kushner has no background in private equity. You know, he, he was involved in a failed real estate deal at 666 Fifth Avenue in New York. Uh, he's, you know, the son of a very wealthy real estate developer and the son-in-law of a less wealthy than he claims to be real estate developer. But that's like <laughs> saying that somebody who plays ice hockey can immediately go to the top of the NFL. Yeah, they're both rough sports. <laughs> New York real estate is rough, but private equity is a totally different world. So this is an enormously corrupt payoff from a killer who just was quoted in The Atlantic uh, recently saying uh, that Khashoggi was, uh, wouldn't have even been in the top 10 of people that he would have liked to have seen killed. 